Hey, I'm Josh Smith. And I'm Cat Knight. And welcome to this week's edition of WTHS News. Hey, Josh, I heard y'all have a game tonight. Yeah, we do. I'm going to see how me and my boys are going to get ring number two. Well, last season after winning a state championship, everybody's uh, hopes are high for this next season, including me. I think we still have the, a good team to uh, go out and compete for another state championship. This season compared to last season, I feel like we have a more in-depth roster and pitching rotation. We don't have just a couple of guys that throw high 80s and can get the job done in the field. We have a whole lineup and everybody at one position that can get the job done at any time. I wasn't really here last season, but I feel that we have a lot of good seniors that are going to help lead us and give us uh, role models that we need. The role on the team is infield, uh, a little bit of outfield this year, and pitching some innings this year. Uh, these past few years I've just been mainly an infielder, but as a senior this year I've started uh, playing more positions and helping out the team more. I'm a pitcher and I'm also a senior, so I'm just a leader and I just have to keep the younger ones going, keep them on track. I'm playing catcher this year and it's definitely a big job. I know Ray Sandroni last year was a starter and I've got to fill some pretty big shoes. My role on the team is a third baseman and a pitcher and this year I had to step up and be a leader and show all the younger kids the intensity and enthusiasm we have to have on and off the field. I feel like we have to fill the shoes that the seniors laid out for us last year and that we have to make another run for state. The seniors here are great role models and they bring energy every day to practice even if we have to stay inside or whatever we have to do they just bring energy to it. There's a lot of good underclassmen. We have a lot of great talent that we haven't had in years past. A lot of D1 commits that are younger and just looking forward to have a great season. We practice really hard every day and just try repetition, like just repeat everything and try to get everything to like a perfect standard. I'm really looking forward to playing Oxford this season because we played them in football and they're really competitive and they're really competitive in every sport and uh, we just want to go out and beat them too. There's definitely a lot of pressure there since we are the biggest school in the state and we just have to really uphold that reputation of being a really good team and uh, winning state last year. We have a lot of underclassmen with a bunch of talent uh, that, we, that could possibly help us win state this year and I'm just looking forward to see them grow. I feel like we have more talent, we have more potential, and I feel like we can go really far if we keep working. Hey Kat, don't you think we have a pretty good chance this year? Yeah, y'all are the reigning state champs. Speaking of the rain, let's check in with Jay and Merritt to see if it's ever gonna stop. Hey guys, I'm Jay. And I'm Merritt, and we are this week's meteorologists. Hey Jay, think you'll be hitting up the diamond this weekend? Um, do three strikes make an out? Of course I'm going. The softball team will be playing at the Morville Classic on Saturday, so it's a good thing I have my poncho because we have a 90% chance of rain tomorrow. Also, temperatures will be in the low 70s throughout the weekend. Swinging in on Monday and throughout the rest of the week, we'll have highs in the mid-60s and lows in the high 50s. Be sure to support your girls' basketball team for their second round of playoffs at Horn Lake on Friday. Good luck and go away. Merritt, I think we hit it out of the park with this weather forecast. Let's pitch it back to Josh and Kat in the studio. Not only does THS get to introduce their teams tonight, but I hear broadcast has an introduction themselves. Let's go to the broad and cast team to see who they're bringing up to bat. We have an exciting matchup today between the broad and the cast teams. Let's go to the broad team and see their starting line. I'm Katie, and you can ring my bell, my girl. I'm Abby, not too shabby, Hastings. I'm Olivia, parking lot. I'm Addison, but you can call me A-Train Riley. I'm Carson Clark Kent. I'm Lee, Elvis, Christian. I'm Anna Kate, and I like boys. Looks like an interesting lineup. Let's go to the cast team and see who they have started. I'm Merritt Starrett Scoble. I'm Margaret, don't forget the Claire Blakey. I'm Saw Yeet Tucker. I'm LL Cool J Stegall. I'm the Scholar is the Limit Michael. Hey Josh, I don't know about you, but I think that lineup's better than yours. Um, well, baseball is still better than baseball. Okay, we'll see. Make sure you tune in the next week's edition of WTHS News.